So the Rapsol says that it can stand up to a 30 mile an hour drag behind a car on the road. We're gonna hook it up to my bike and see if we can drag it 30 miles an hour down the road and see if it stands up. Let's go. The screen's not shattered, neither is the back. It looks like the back's still intact. It did rip off the skin just from the heat and friction, but it looks like everything's still intact. It actually held up at 30 miles an hour plus, so pretty cool protection does work. So it withstood our road test, so now we're gonna see if it'll hold up to a 45 automatic. Dean? Sorry, Rapsole. <laughs> Rapsol was kind enough to send these products out to me free for review. I've got them for the iPad 2, MacBook Pro, iPhone 4, and obviously the 3GS. This one did retail for $29.95. It offers drop and scratch protection. Installation is easy, just pulling off the back. You're going to go ahead and line it up. It's got a very thick cardstock to it, and it's got these little tabs you can hold on to. Smooth away the air bubbles, and then all you're going to do is peel off the very top coating, leaving behind the ultra protection. The back is going to be just the same. All you're going to do is peel it, line it up, stick it, smooth it and peel off the back leaving the nice finish. The Ultra Kit does include the side protection as well as front and back for $29.95. Looks really great in the natural form if you don't want to put a case on your phone and you want the natural look but you still want the protection. Check out the Rapsol Ultra for the iPhone 4 and any other mobile device that they have listed on their website. Make sure you guys head on over and check out Rapsol.com. If you haven't, check out BuyMeAnIPhone.com for more video reviews, news, rumors, and more. And make sure you subscribe to my videos. I'll see you in the next episode.